let's go <laughs> we have some amazing news in this video let's go ob1 plays yes right what's up all right one play going on everybody how are y'all doing we have a couple a couple of dope 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 gaming news items for this video the first one playstation 5 event now heating up to be in september september that's right ladies and gentlemen but i got ahead of myself give the video big thumbs up like 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 destroy the button and playstation 5 console giveaway is going down on the channel in october make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and to follow me on twitter all right back to the playstation 5 event in september this is coming from express.co.uk via jeff grubb jeff grubb reliable insider he has correctly correctly leaked information in the past before so pay attention to your boy so jeff grubb is saying that sony could be gearing up to hold the playstation state of play in september now here's one caveat it's not clear if this will be a general state of play which is what i want and it's sort of like a Nintendo Direct where they go all out, show some great games, or one dedicated solely to Horizon Forbidden West. This is why I think it's the latter rather than the former. We just got a state of play on Horizon Forbidden West where they did that deep dive and the game looked amazing, bro. Can't wait for Horizon Forbidden West. One of my most anticipated games. But a st general state of play hotly rumored to be in september and this rumor was highlighted in a post on reddit a reddit um reddit member wrote a member on error shared that jeff grubb talked about horizon for the most and john brown showing apparently heard that the game is getting delayed to 22 oh that's all news we already know that horizon might be getting delayed now even though horizon delay it hasn't been confirmed by sony yet no it hasn't been confirmed just the god of war ragnarok but um can't wait can't wait I want to see, I think Sony may have one or two surprises for this coming holiday season. And speaking of surprises, a welcome surprise with this next news item. Astro's Playroom um, developer has confirmed they're working on an all new game and I quote, their most ambitious project ever bro this is this kind of news gets me hyped astro playroom easily my favorite 3d platform of this generation bro and it's so short <laughs> it's so short but it's so good it was the perfect pack in title that lets you know what this controller is all about this is the goat of controllers right now bro the game was fantastic from beginning to end. I platinumed it. It's easy platinum. But it was just such a good free packing game. If you have a PS5, you played it. You know what I'm talking about. Some magic in this game. But I still can't get over on that wind stage. Where the wind is blowing. Like you feel it <laughs> through the control. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Alright. So, this is the news coming from comicbook.com. Astro Playroom developer Team Asobi has launched its official website after PlayStation Studios has reorganized it into a new developer. All right. While Sony Interactive Entertainment Statement at the time said that, said that being re-centered to Team Asobi would allow the team to focus on a single vision and build on the popularity of Astro's Playroom, the new website, check this out, for the developer now teases that it is, and I quote, hard at work developing its most ambitious game yet bro if they give us 
an Astros playroom on the triple A level, like worlds and just go all in, bro, that would be so epic. Sign me up day one. And so Asobi, um, Team Asobi, that's the new studio that does the Astro game. I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to see what they're cooking up. Uh, game is fantastic. If you have a PS5, like I said, you already know the vibes. All right, next news item. Mark Cerny. He has tweeted out the SSD that he recommends for PS5 units. Now, for you, those of you that don't know, Mark Cerny, he is the system architecture architect for the PS5, a genius, bro. A lot of dudes don't know it, but at the age of 17, he developed Marble Madness for the NES. Marble Madness, one of my favorite Nintendo games on the old school NES. But he knocked it out of the ballpark with the PS4, fantastic console, and he seems like he's knocked it out of the ballpark with the PS5. Because here's the thing, if it's 10 teraflops versus the P, uh, Xbox um, Series X 12, but somehow, these multi-plat games, a lot of them are running better on the PS5 because it isn't just that one number. Like, when he first was saying it's not about that one number, I was like, uh, you just capped it, Mark Cerny, because it's not as powerful. But he was right. <laughs> he, it's the overall system and how all the components work together. He's a genius, man. And so, he recommends the West, um, let me get the Western Digital, WD Black SN850 NVMe SSD. He that's the one he tweeted out. He actually tweeted out um, which SSD he would recommend for the PS5, which makes me feel a little bit more comfortable because it's him tweeting it out. So I'm definitely gonna be expanding the storage on my PS5. Y'all saw me in my last video unbox it. I got my digital PS5. We're giving away my physical PS5 to a lucky subscriber, but is giving us the solution he's recommended the ssd that we should be getting for our ps5 and there's more positives than negatives yes there's like two extra steps you got to take off the side you got to unscrew something but i've seen videos on on youtube the internet is making it harder than it seems you really just slide it in once you get the right one but you have to know the right one to get so once you have the right one, I think the solution is actually better than Xboxes because you can get up to four terabytes if you want to shell out that much money. Um, so there's more options with expanding your storage on the PS5. At the end of the day, you could always just delete old games and um, when you get, get started on a new game. When I'm when I done platinum in the game, I'm deleting it, starting a new game. So Mark Cerny has given us the official recommendation for P. S5 SSDs. All right, next news item. Bro, I just want to remind y'all, this is pretty good. Um, this is coming from GamerRant.com that what is going to be PlayStation's big holiday um, seller? We know Halo is going to be there for Xbox. We don't know yet because there's um, no state of play. We do know, do know Kena's coming in September. The Ghost of Tsushima, um, the Icky expansion is coming in August. Um, Death Stranding's Director's Cut is also coming this fall. But one sleeper hit. What is a game that's bigger than Halo? GTA 5. And I know you guys are like, bro, this is a two generation old game. But the PS5 version of both the game and online, PS5 online with improved resolution and frame rates scheduled to be coming out in November, according to this article. And we might, be, for me personally, I'm a little over GTA 5. I want GTA 6. But a GTA 5, no one can doubt the popularity, and this could be an addition. In addition, I'm not saying this is it for so Sony's holiday, but this could be an addition uh, on top of everything else that they have coming out uh, this holiday. But 
um, Horizon Forbidden West, if, if that game does in fact get delayed, like all the rumors are pointing to, that's going to be a big blow for their holiday lineup, um, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, and speaking of holiday and PS5s, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you don't have a PS5 by now, many sources are saying it's going to be virtually impossible to get a PS5 after October. That's why I'm going to hook somebody up with at least one PS5. So after October, this is coming from Tom'sGuy.com, and they are sorts. Um, they are saying because with Qualcomm and Apple taking them a vast majority of five nanometer chips that um, consoles are going to be limited in their um, parts and availability so long story short if you're trying to get a ps5 now's the time to check every day check all um, the sources because after october they're saying it's going to be virtually impossible all right those are all the news items for this video what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out peace